Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. If you ever feel like you can't make it, man, this guy give you great inspiration, man. I, you know, I know I read up on the save from New York, Brownfield, New York, but I seen him with palm trees behind him the last time I seen him. To be honest, I don't, hey, I, oh, I know this, but hey, man, this man here, man, like I said, I never would have thought it would have happened, man, but here today on Boss Talk 101, man, the great Shannon Briggs. What's oh, going on, baby? Thank you, champ. Thank you for having me. Save, man. Oh, thank, thank you, you for thank coming, you champ, man. Thank you, champ, man. Thank you, champ, man. The champ thing, man, it's, it, hey, man, it done revived everything, man. Yeah, let's go, champ. And it's done helped so many people. Facts. facts. Say, man, that, how did you come up with that? Oh man, I hit I had hit a point in my life, champ, where I was uh I was down and now I was depressed. I uh, had ballooned up in weight. I was about four hundred and three pounds. Yeah. And, um, I had you know walked away from boxing for a few years. I had been out of the game. I was eating a lot. Um, I would have been prescribed. Uh, uh, what is it called? Psych medication. Psych medication. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> <With> depression. <laughs> and I was actually taking like Depreco, Seroquel, Zoloft, Paxil, and um, I, I was 403 pounds, man. And I eventually, wow. um, I was just down. Now I eventually started, you know, I, I opted to get off, get off, can, I got off prescription drugs. And I started using cannabis and it eventually led to me just one day just sitting down telling myself, man, not feeling good about myself and saying, yo, you're a champion, man. You got to, you know, my entourage was gone. My yeah. friends, my money was gone. And I just basically, I hit a point where I was like, you know, I just had my daughter and um, she was a changing point too, for sure. And then, you know, I started selling champ. And one day I said, let's go champ. Let's you know, go champ. To push myself in. How yeah. hard was it for you to get out of, get out of that depression <clears throat> yourself? Because there, I see so many people in the limelight who, you know, for us seeing people like, oh, they have money, but people don't don't realize that problems can come to anybody. Depression can come to anyone. Right. Yeah. So, but you see some people who commit suicide because of depression. Right. I mean, some people who can't come out of that state. How hard was it for you to really just mentally tell yourself, well, I need to just get out of this? And I mean, it was it was a, it was a struggle in a sense. So it and took, how long did it take you? It took me about two or three years, I think. <laughs> okay. Before I finally, you know, I was eating a lot. I was using food as a uh, comfort. Yeah, exactly. Comfort. You know, I was doing that, and um, <clears throat> and I was drinking at the time. I had you know, been drinking since I was like 13, 14 years old. Um, I had picked that up as a teenager because I was homeless. I mean, I, mean, I, had yeah, my yeah. Mom and I lost a home and I, I was living from place to place in one of the neighborhoods that I moved to, Flatbush, which is a West Indian. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. I've I know we've been, yeah, we yeah. been to Flatbush actually when we ate yeah. at the restaurant. Yeah, so they used to drink around there in the bush. Yeah, so yeah. I started drinking around 13, 14, started with 40s, and then, you know, but I was never into smoking. Boy. And then I picked up cannabis, like I said, but it took me about. About two, three years to, to when I was like, you And know, it wasn't anybody who actually, like, tried to help you through it? Yeah, it was many people. But, again, you know, I had been boxing since I was, like, 15, 16. Right. And I think it was a combination of, yeah. you know, probably that being hit in the head. You know what I mean? I fought <laughs> five of the hardest punches in boxing Yeah, history. yeah. I fought Francois both the one of the hardest hitters. George Foreman. George Foreman. Yeah, yeah. Phoenix Lewis, Vitaly Klitschko. Yeah. Ray Mercer. And uh, Sergey Lakovich, real big punches. So, I think the combination of that... And then my childhood was, you know, pretty intense. You know what I'm saying? Only child. I lost my mom. Yeah, yeah. She died on my birthday. My pops died in prison. Wow. These are the things that, you know. You went only, through a lot. Yeah, I went through a lot. But I say that to say all that made me stronger, to be honest mm -hmm. with you. It made me, I, I guess I was already strong, you know, but it made me stronger to have to hit so, so many down points in my life and then build myself up. So when I was about 37, 38, and I was at a down point, I, um, I, I was always a reader. So yeah, I was looking, yeah. and, you know find out, you know, read I went to like private school as a kid. Yeah. <clears throat> you know, and so I was always in the reading and I was I was actively trying to find ways to heal myself from yeah. depression. Man. From you know what I'm saying? So I was I was reading a lot about cannabis. I was reading about different things and um I was, you know, that I, cannabis, boy, it got a lot of people uh, uh, making money too. I believe because they all investing. Yeah. You know, that's been the, that's been a new thing. You know right. what I mean? Right. Everybody from everybody you read up on, that's mm -hmm. what they doing, man. It's and it's saying. helping people yeah, it's too helping a people. lot. For real, for so sure, sure. the thing, I, 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 so you coming up young, uh, the greats. I, I know Mike Tyson, and I, I read up on a few things on yeah. you. How, how was that experience seeing him come from? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The boy was serious, <laughs> man. Wasn't he? Yeah, like, like. <clears throat> so, were you you he, you're younger than him. Yes, brother. Yes. So, so you seen that, and did that give you 
like oh, I, I can make it. Yeah, yeah, I can make it. I mean, well, you know, I didn't have, I never thought honestly that I'd be you a boxer. Never thought it. Nah, because you know, I grew up only child. My mom spoiled me rotten, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I went yeah, to yeah, private yeah. school. Yeah. You know what I mean? I went to Catholic high school for a year. Uh so I was always living good, you know what I mean? I didn't have to do nothing, you know what I mean? <laughs> I always had hustle with me and try to get jobs and all that, but when we lost our home when I was thirteen, yeah, yeah, that's when I had to like live from house to house, and that's when I, you know, what I'm saying I got serious in the boxing. But Mike was a motivation. So again, like I said, I wasn't expecting to be no boxer. But when I hit rock bottom, by the time I was 16, 15, 16, I was getting in trouble, getting arrested, and um, I was in the streets. I was really in the streets. My pops was on the run. Uh, he wound up getting caught and going to prison and dying. So for me. I, my whole life changed, and that's when I became a hardened, more, more hardened person. And I got into boxing. Luckily, I had skills. You know what I mean? I, and I, I like to people slip. use boxing as an outlet. Yeah, yeah, uh, lifesaver. lifesaver. But, yeah. I'm I'm from Marshall, okay, Jefferson Marshall. Texas. You, yeah, you. But he beat George Foreman, so he ought to know Marshall. That's oh, where man. George from. Yeah, yeah, okay. I met George. I walk up to him at the, and I never would have thought I'd have met George and Shannon Briggs. This is crazy okay, for me. Thank you, because I met <laughs> I met him at the uh, J C Penney's over there across mm-hmm. from where I had the store at. And I walk up to him. I'm like, dude, you look familiar I'm oh, <laughs> tripping man. on him because I ain't even you know I'm, I'm at home so I'm like what is, you know I ain't really think about him right. but then it hit me when I seen people start asking for autographs okay, but okay. Yeah, yeah yeah but very cool champ. cat that's man yeah. now, but that was a that was a that was a fight that pretty much did it like revive like you that was a championship fight wasn't it yeah yeah I won the title yeah my, the first I mean, my first title I won the linear championship from him but yeah. it was a tough fight again my, uh, my mom had died on my birthday and the fight was uh you know, not, not too far after, and it was something wow. that um, I think kept me kept me up and kept me strong, and motivated me for the fight. But the opportunity that he gave me was life changing. I was at a down point in my life. Yeah, I you know I wound up getting a very close decision. Yeah, could have went anyway. Yeah, um, I got I won the title and it was life changing. I can go down the rest of my life. And here I was a kid sleeping on the train a few years before that. Me and my mom, and now here we are. I was you know she had died, but I had won the title. Yeah, so it gave me a, a sense of of worth, self worth. So how old was you when she died? Twenty five. Yeah, yeah, that's about how old yeah, I was yeah. when my mom died. So, yeah, yeah, about the same. But it was about ninety six for me. Yeah, yeah, it was ninety six. See, we it, <laughs> like like yeah. she died of cancer though. Yeah, and and it, it, she was forty four. Yeah, so my mom's yeah. is fifty one. So yeah. yeah, she had an overdose. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, I read up on that too, man. I just like I said, it's just crazy, man, that how you 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 got to know about resilience to be in boxing, nice. man. You got to be able to bounce back. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, so when you came back from the weight, you know, losing the weight and getting back to your true self, you know, you thought to yourself and came to yourself. Yeah. Uh, that that right there had to be that's something else. People yeah. don't use, you know, a lot of people they count themselves out and they, they don't come back, you know. But you was well, I had a lot of haters, so I was like, that helps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had motivation. <laughs> a lot that of people was happy to see me off my good foot. Yeah, so yeah, I was yeah. Like you know, what I'm saying I got fat. It was like, oh, you'll never come back. I remember I had, I had, you know, dreadlocks. I had locks. Yeah, I don't like to say dreadlocks. I had locks, locks. for like 27, 28 years. I just have blonde dreadlocks. You know? I yeah. saw that. Yeah. When did you cut it? Um, well, when I was going through my depression. Oh, okay. um, the first time I tried cannabis, it was one day I, I my um a friend of mine who was a chef, he had left it at my house. I wasn't a smoker. I wind up uh hitting it like two 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 o'clock in the morning, two, three o'clock in the morning. And um I had an experience, man. Wow. I just like I started crying and oh, I, wow. I just started I was four hundred and three pounds and I started crying. I was I was just I don't even know why. I just then I envisioned myself in shape. Traveling the world, I hadn't wow. been home for a while, and I was eating, eating crazy. And I envisioned myself traveling the world in shape, and I was like, "Damn!" And I was crying. I went in the house, and I fell asleep. And when I woke up the next morning, I just walked in the bathroom with no, with no thought, and I just went in the bathroom and started shaving my head bald, oh. <laughs> without question. You know what I'm saying? Wow. And, um, my wife walked in, and she started crying. She's like, <laughs> yeah, "Oh my I, god!" I was wondering if you were yeah. mad at that time. Yeah, she yeah. started. She said, "You went crazier." <laughs> You know, she's like, you went crazy. And she cried. Yeah, no, I was like, nah, I'm okay, I'm okay. I was like, nah, everything is good. And she was like, well, I was like, no, I don't, I don't know what it is. But then it hit me. The blunt was outside, you know? Wow. So I went outside, I hit it a couple more times. And again, I felt for the first time in years, my imagination came back. Okay. Wow. Yeah, I had wow. some block in my, brain where, That's I, my crazy. brain where I couldn't think about positive and seeing myself in a better place. And here I was now. So when I hit the tree, I was like, oh, snap. So right. I called my boy. I was like, yo, Jerome, get over here. <laughs> yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.